All right, so here's example D. So let's do this one together. So once again, you have forces on both sides of this object. But again, you can't just start combining all of them. You have to look at every single side individually first. So let's start by looking at this side right here. Go ahead, I need you to pause the video, add up all these forces, and then continue playing the video to see if you added them correctly. All right, so when you add 792 plus 632 plus 100, your total force on this side would be 1,524 newtons. So now let's move on to this next side right over here. So same thing, since you have two different forces on this side, go ahead and add them first. So pause the video and then continue playing the video to see if you added them correctly. Alright, so when adding these two forces, you should end up with 1,300 newtons. Alright, so now you have one force on each side of this object. So look at the arrows. Are the forces going in the same direction? Or are they going in different directions? Great job. They're going in different directions because if you notice carefully all of these forces here are going towards the right where all as all of these forces on this opposite side are going to the left so try to remember if the forces are going in opposite directions do we add them or do we subtract them great job we have to subtract them so you're going to subtract 1,524 minus 1,300. All right, so go ahead and pause the video, work it out, and then continue playing the video to see if you got it correct. Great job. When you subtract these two numbers, you're going to end up with a net force of 200 24 newtons. Now, were the forces the same? All right, so if you're, if you're confused, if you're not sure exactly how to find out if the forces are the same or not, let's look at the numbers again. You had a force of 1,524 on one side and a force of 1,300 on the other. Are those two numbers the same? Great job, they're not the same, they're different. So because these forces are different, they are going to be considered unbalanced. Alright, so now here comes the next step, the final step for this one. We need to figure out which direction this box is going to move. Because they're unbalanced, we know it's going to move one way. So which number was bigger? 1,524 or 1,300? Great job. This number right here, 1,524, is the bigger one. So because it's the bigger one, it's the one that has more force. So what direction was that force going? Alright, if you're not sure where to look, let's go look back at our numbers to see where exactly it was that we got these numbers from. We have 1,524 right here. So which direction were all of these arrows moving and that we added to get that number? Great job. We saw that they were all moving to the right. So we circle this arrow. All right, let's move on to the next one. Here we have example E. Same thing as before, you have several forces here on this side. So you have to combine those first before you can look at both sides. So I want you to pause the video, try doing this entire example by yourself, and then continue playing the video to see how you did. 
All right. So by this point, you should have already tried working out this entire example. So now we're going to check it together to see how you did. So we have to add the forces of 550 plus 750 plus 250. So what did you get when you added up all those forces? Great job. You should have gotten 1,550 newtons. Now, which direction is it going in? Very good. Since all the arrows are going to the right, this entire force is also going to the right. Great job. So now let's look at the other side of this square. We have one force over here of 1,563 newtons. Which direction is this one going? Great job, it's going to the left. All right, so now we have our two forces. What do we do with these numbers? Should we add them or should we subtract them? Great job, by now you should have noticed that all the forces that go in the same direction get added whereas all the forces going in different directions get subtracted. So since you all said that these two forces are going in two different directions, we're going to... Great job. We're going to subtract them. So remember, we subtracted the bigger number on top. So let's try 1,563. Oh, sorry about that. Hold on. There we go. Okay. 1,563 minus 1,550. So what's 3 minus 0? Great job, it's 3. What's 6 minus 5? 1, awesome. 5 minus 5? 0. And 1 minus 1? 0. Great job. So what's our total net force on this object? Awesome job. 13 Newtons. All right, so were the two forces the same or different? Great job, they were different. So since they're different, it's going to cause some type of movement. So if there's going to be movement, are these forces balanced or unbalanced? Great job, these forces are unbalanced. So now, let's look at our two arrows at the bottom. Which one's going to win? Which way is this object going to go? Great thinking. We have to find out which force was the bigger one. So which number is bigger? 1,550 or 1,563? Great job. 1,563 is the bigger number. So since that one's going to the left, that's the arrow that we circle. That's the, the direction this object will be going. All right, so there's one last example. All right, so example F. Go ahead and do this one by yourself, then um, uh, continue playing the video and see how you did. All right, guys, so by this point, you should have already finished this example. So in this case, you also have two different forces on two different sides. So let's look at the left side only. If we look right over here, we have one force. Do I combine it with anything on this side? No, it's the only one. Let's look at the other side. We have one force here also. Do I combine it with anything? Great job, I don't. So, please make sure that when you're subtracting, because they are going in different directions, that you start with the bigger number on top, so 993,267 minus 987,256. So if you subtracted incorrectly with the wrong number on top, go ahead and try it again and then continue playing the video. Alright, so by this point, you should have already subtracted the numbers correctly. So what did you end up with? Great job. We have a net force of 6,011 newtons. So, the two forces that we looked at, were they balanced or unbalanced? 
Great job. These two forces were unbalanced. How do we know they're unbalanced? Great job. They're unbalanced because they're different. One is bigger than the other. So which one is going to win? Great job. This one's going to win because it's bigger, so the object is going to move in that direction. All right, guys, so now you're going to flip to the back side of this page. You have eight problems here for net fours, so go ahead and start working on them. Whatever you don't finish in class, go ahead and do for homework over the weekend and bring it on Monday. Have a great weekend, guys.